Hey everybody. Here we're looking at the Cube Computer Mid Tower and Lux Black Max, and um, this video is going to be about fan maintenance. Now, in many cases, when computer fans start to act up, some techs just love to just replace them right away. In my case, I'd prefer to get as much usage as possible out of a computer fan, especially when it's in one of my own computers. This is my parents' computer, and I get to service it regularly if, if something ever, go, ever goes wrong with it. And this computer stays on all the time. And the thing about computer fans is it seems like nowadays they're not engineered to last. Used to be computer fans would never fail you, especially ones with ball bearings. And you can still get ball bearing fans today, but they're not like they used to be. Even the sleeve fairing ba um, fans back in the day were a whole lot better. Nowadays, they are, they're just not engineered to last at all. So, here we have this a PVS side panel fan. <clears throat> it's a low RPM fan. doesn't move a whole lot of air. It's a good side panel fan. lights up green and everything. And this fan has been in use for probably two years. Constant on. And it's getting to where it is starting to rattle a little bit. I noticed it when I was cleaning out the computer. It doesn't rattle when um, the computer is running because this fan doesn't spin very fast. But I did notice when I was cleaning out the um, computer it started to rattle a little bit, so in this case, we're going to have to lube this fan. And when a fan just starts to rattle, it's best to try to lube it as soon as possible. Because what's happening is the original lube that's in the sleeve bearing has dried out, so the fan is now, the sleeve bearing is now rattling. And basically, what you do is you have to pull the sticker off. Now, of course, if you look on my channel, you might notice there are a lot, quite a few videos of me cleaning out computer fans to where I actually had to drill a hole in the plastic to get to the bearing. And this is your typical fan that actually has an access hole with a stopper and everything. And I prefer to use Marvel Mystery Oil. And it's funny, um, they market this Marvel Mystery Oil as a product for, like, um to mix in with your gasoline or mix in with your motor oil and it does this and that it helps clean things up but Marvel Mystery Oil also has a good use for this kind of stuff too. So basically what you do is of course you you pull off the stopper and the sticker and everything to your sleeve bearing and fill this up with oil. Don't need much then you just stick this back on. This fan is lubed up really good. And of course, if you can, pull this, um, the fan blade in and out just a little bit to help get the oil to penetrate the sleeve bearing. And this fan should be good to go. Now, in another case, um, I'm going to show you the other fan that's in this computer needs to be um, fixed. This is a chipset fan. It's a very high RPM fan. It spins about, I would say, four to five thousand RPMs, if not more. And let's go ahead and zoom in on it so I can see a little better. It's the factory installed WinFast fan on this motherboard. And I've had to lube this thing several times with oil. But this fan has gotten to the point where oil is not doing a very good job of lubing it. So when this happens, you have to um, get, get a little more serious with it. In this case, I'm going to add grease to this one. Okay, now I pulled out the other fan, and it's had a fairly rough time. Like I said, I've lubed it many times, and it just it would just start rattling all over again. So here's the next thing you try grease. Here we have some axle grease. What we're going to do is go ahead and cram this down there really good. Go ahead and attach the stopper. Well, first, I'm going to go ahead and um, 
flex this um, shaft a little bit and try to work this stuff in there really good. So in case you can actually get the um, fan blade to come off, that makes things even better. But in this case, I couldn't get the fan blade to come off, so and do things a little bit different. As you can see, um, I have <clears throat> pulled this fan blade down a little bit to get the grease to get in there really good. And I will put the stopper back on. Might be a little tough getting on since there's so much grease in there. Let me just wipe off the excess. Next, what to do is I have to run the fan for a little bit to get get this um, grease to get settled in. Okay, now I got the fan running um, with the grease in it. It's taking a little bit. It's starting to speed up a little bit. Definitely not spinning as fast as normal, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to dilute this grease just a little bit using some Marvel Mystery Oil. We don't need much, just a little bit. Now it's performing a whole lot better. So we got a mixture of grease <clears throat> and some Marvel Mystery Oil down in that sleeve bearing. I don't feel any rattling whatsoever other than the normal operation of the fan. Fan's good as new. Go ahead and reattach the stopper. Now it's just a matter of reinstalling a fan to the computer. So anyways, um, those are two ways you can repair a computer fan that is rattling really bad. The first case is for a fan that's not rattling all that bad, but does need some oil. And in this case, with this fan, this is a more serious fix if the fan is so wore out and, and oil is not fixing the problem. Anyways, um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.